let's talk about sex. Um, sex without intimacy is what I like to call rubbing genitals. And even though there's really nothing wrong with it, in a short run, it can be fun, it can be exciting, it can make you like somebody enough to go deeper. Um, but in the long run, sex without intimacy can, can actually do a deep damage on, on your soul and your heart. Um, because basically, if there is no intimacy, I know that in, in the West, sometimes when people speak about in intimacy, they mean, mean sex, but so many people actually are practicing sex without intimacy. Uh, what I mean by that is, is having a deep connection with your partner. It's not a, just about um, having tantric sex where you're going to do certain things that you have no idea what they are, but you heard or you read in a magazine. It's actually about really being there present with your partner. It can involve looking into their eyes, um, it can involve um, touching in different ways and so on, but there is no one um, straight rule about what intimacy is. It's basically being present. So pay attention to how you make love, or is it making love or, or it's just rubbing genitals every time you encounter your partner. Um, and this doesn't go just for relationships, even if it's random hookups, you can change how we how we approach sexuality you can be present with that person even if after tomorrow you're never gonna see each other again you can still share love because um there is a reason why it's called making love um your soul and their soul is uniting in that moment and even if you never see each other again you can still offer each other presence and intimacy um, how to practice it if you're already in a relationship and you have no idea what you're doing um, is about talking to your partner. How about communication, asking them what they want, dedicating some time to explore each other's bodies, to help each other relax because so often we're so busy with everyday life that everything is fast. We eat fast food, we watch fast television, we have fast sex and then if it's 10-15 minutes of of rubbing genitals, there is no connection. And, and for many couples, there won't even be pleasure. It will be quick release um, in, the, in the form of orgasm, or maybe not even that. And then you move, move on with your day. Um, that would be lacking intimacy. Nothing wrong with quickies. You can be intimate and, and still have a quickie. But sometimes dedicate some time to actually explore what your partner really wants. Um, you, you can practice it like just one of you lies down, you set the timer to half an hour and you are exploring their body. You can ask them as you're moving over their body what they like, what they don't like, create safe space for them to actually express it and then you can switch roles. Um, but these moments create intimacy and in the long run that, that is how you preserve your sex life because this quick satisfaction of just orgasming it's gonna be exciting for a while if you're lucky maybe even up to five years but after a while it just feels empty it feels like it's not fun anymore and that's why many people fake headaches and uh, and other issues just trying to avoid sex they're not cheating they're not sleeping with anybody else they just don't feel doing this same empty thing again and again so if you want your relationship to thrive past first excitement of honeymoon period work on your intimacy and this is not just in bed you can cultivate intimacy outside of bed if you can really reveal yourself in front of each other uh, completely naked metaphorically speaking and still love and support each other that creates intimacy if you can tell each other what you want and what you don't want and and all your desires and deepest secrets and so on that creates intimacy um, and it goes into all parts of your relationship, not just sexual life. So cultivate intimacy, listen to your partner, tell them what you want, open communication, honesty, and you can have years of beautiful sexual life.